Today we are driving just over an hour to go and stay in a cabin made completely out of glass. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Let's go. Time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Feeling in my bones I could feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change Okay, so we've just checked in and we've got our little key to our glass cabin. Now in my mind, glamping is kind of like luxury tents. This is far from that. This place is located in the Hoike region of Chiang Mai, just about an hour away from the city. I can't wait to go and see. Let's go. We have no shoes on. Oh my God. Look at this! This is where we're staying! Oh, there's two! Oh, oh my gosh! Is this all for us? It's all for us! Oh it's no completely way! completely made of wood and glass! How cool is that? And we're also right by the river and we've got like our own outdoor grill and seating area. It's so cool! No way! Wow! Let's go check out the room! The first thing you see as you walk up into this cabin is this beautiful circular bath. I mean, it's huge! <laughs> wow! So this is the view. You are literally in the middle of the jungle. Okay, let's check out our room. So as you walk into our cozy little glass cabin for the night, I can't even tell you how excited I am. You are greeted with this gorgeous white bed. I mean, I have to test it out. Oh, it's a soft one. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so soft. So this is the view that we're going to have while we're sleeping. On our it's, comfy bed. It's completely glass. It's so cool. We're gonna have like the coolest view. I mean, we're completely like off the grid. Well, not really, because we've got air conditioner, we've got lights everywhere, we've got Wi Fi, super fast Wi Fi. So we're kind of like off the grid, but like we're camping in luxury. <laughs> I don't know. What I like about this cabin is we've got loads of lights. I mean, there's so many light switches. Whoa! How cool is that? Mood lights. It's so moody. And you've got some lights up here, which is going to be pretty cool at night time, I think. So we've got some bath towels, we've got robes. I'm so happy about the robes. Water. Ooh, and we've got lemongrass bubble bath. We are using this. That's so cool that we get robes in the jungle. I love the robes. This is like I don't even know how to say it, but like luxury cabin living? Is that, is that a thing? Is that a thing? It's like super cozy and like romantic. So over here we've got our sound system, which I think we're going to have to connect our phone to and listen to some really good music while we chill here. And we've got this really furry rug. It's so soft. I love soft. the rug. It's so soft. I love it. Okay, let me show you the living room and the bathroom. I'm sure you didn't expect me to say living room, but let's go check it out. Okay, so that was the room. This is the living room. How cool is this? So we've got bean bags. We've got a little kettle, tea station, which, you know, we love tea. We've also got a cute little rug here. Everything is so like rustic. I really like the fact that they are, it's completely like, made out of wood and we've got loads and loads of like glass you just feel like you're in a 
Swiss Alps somewhere, yeah. like you want a hot chocolate. It's yes. really cozy. But we're in Thailand. And it's really hot. I mean, <laughs> I never ever thought I would see something like this in Thailand. Only in Europe. I really love these circular windows too. I mean, you can just peep into, the, really cute. <laughs> into the room. <laughs> but the bean bags, that's going to be me tomorrow morning having tea. Oh, yes. Let's go see the bathroom. I love how this place has been completely built around the tree trunks. It's really, really cool. It just gives you so much of that nature feel. Right, let's go check out the bathroom. Whoa! Look at this! Whoa! Wow, look, there's another tree trunk. Wow, it's literally built around this tree. So you've got really cool mirror, basin, toilet, some towels, and then I don't know what's here. Oh, the light, the oh. mood lights are the whole way around. What is this? Look! It's the shower! This is no the shower! Way. How cool you can shower with a view! Talk about an outdoor shower, no yeah, way. This is literally an outdoor shower of note. And there's mood lights everywhere. The whole way around. Wow. So this is the best part for me. They cannot have refrigerators because it takes too much electricity. So they have made a little like cooler box for us. So cute. Ooh. How cute is that? Dreams. So it's some nice cold water and some sprites and coats. This place is too cool. How cool is our fridge? <laughs> What I like is they've created this bamboo wall around us. So we are completely secluded and isolated. So it kind of feels like we're in our own private resort or something like that. But yet we're right next to everything else. So Cheval does all the research for these places. She looks at the photos, she organizes our stay. I do have a little bit of a look before, but because I spend most of the time editing our videos, I kind of come here and have that raw, unfiltered experience. Yeah. So I actually don't know what we're gonna get, and I like that. I get the first-hand experience, it's amazing. I do all the research, so I know everything. <laughs> A question you might ask us is, are there any bugs? Well, hello. You're quite ginormous. Please don't come in. I've just come down to the river, and I realized that this whole place is built up on like bamboo stilts and it kind of gives the illusion like it's floating. You feel like you're in a cabin floating over the river. What I like the most is the, is the actual journey getting to these little quirky cabins in the middle of nowhere. I think the drive is like so awesome. Well, that's the thing that I'm most impressed about this place is how they built this in this thick jungle. You literally have to drive for an hour, but you're in the most incredible, cozy little cabin, practically in the middle of nowhere. There are little details like the, the lighting, like the outdoor lighting and the ring around the bathtub and the beautiful lights that we've got here. I mean, every little thing has been so well thought out and it, it actually makes it more cozy. We're really enjoying relaxing. We have the doors open right now. We're trying to get as much of the natural feeling as possible, but the sun is going down now. So we're actually going to make our way up to one of the other camps and we're going to have some dinner. taking a two minute drive to the restaurant where we're about to have dinner and it's a pretty steep road. I've decided to walk but Devon wants to take the bike because we have to go up really steep roads and I'm a bit nervous but there he goes. <laughs> it looks dangerous. It looks less than it is. It looks really <laughs> But there's going to be dinner so it's worth it. Okay fine. 
doesn't look so good. <laughs> Are we gonna make it? It's not a road. It's not a road. We made it. We're on the main road. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, maybe we were just being a little dramatic. We did make <laughs> it. <laughs> we made it to our little dinner spot. So this restaurant is actually right at the top of like the mountain, so we can see right down the valley. And I think we're the only ones here, but this is so cute. Wow, oh, this is where we're having dinner. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. Cup and can. So what are we having? Okay, so we're having like our new fun favorite dinner called Mukata. And if you haven't seen our previous videos, we've tried this before. We absolutely love it. And basically it's like a hot grill and you grill all your meat by yourself and your vegetables. We've got even got a little soup broth in the middle and then you grill your meat on the outside. This is the perfect dinner. I love this. Can you believe that we get to have dinner with the mountains as a backdrop and something that we find so funny is that in Thailand you typically have really low tables when you have mukata and you normally sit on the floor I like it we're not used to that I love it <laughs> I love it the mukata is like such a good way to socialize you can't really have it by yourself you should have it with like a lot of people and friends and even a couple <laughs> and you share and cook together yeah how that's cool. the best part Devin can't cross his legs <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tonight on our menu we have some lettuce, then we have tofu, we have glass noodles and mushrooms and the idea with all of this is we're going to put that in the center of our dish and this is actually a broth, okay, vegetable broth. So we're going to put everything in here and it's going to create like a soup which is going to be amazing and then we have some bacon and we have some pork which we're going to put all around here and I'm going to eat a lot of it. Good morning from our glass cabin in the woods. I mean, there's nothing better than waking up and it's already bright. It's so crazy to wake up and you can see outside from your bed. It's yeah. a bit of a strange feeling. I mean, we both slept well. This bed is so comfortable, but you're definitely awake at 5 a.m. And we're so, so sad that we have to leave today. One day was not enough. But before we leave, we've got a lovely breakfast coming up. They've just brought our breakfast to us and we're going to be having it down by the river. And they bought us an American style breakfast with croissants, some sausages and fried egg. And then we have some mango juice and some yogurt. And we have a Northern style breakfast as well, which is a chicken and rice soup. How cute is this? Breakfast is served by the river. Time to check out and I don't want to leave. I really don't want to leave. I've really really loved staying here. This place was so cool. I can't even tell you like how amazing it was. I would 100% do this again and even though I'm sad to leave we are actually on our way to the next tiny home and we have been obsessed with this place or a place like this for a long time. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video and please remember to give this video a like Comment below if you enjoyed this place and let us know what your favorite part was and we will see you in the next one. Bye!